We're about to enter the ice museum. We're in an ice museum and we're going to be building a gym completely out of ice and put it in this museum. This is a museum built in what looks like world's biggest freezer, owned by these two super nice and passionate guys. And Sander is national champion ice carving. Together they bought the company that Sander worked at with big plans and lots of ideas. But shortly after the world shut down and caused basically all their projects to be cancelled. So now they had an immense amount of ice left and they decided to spend four months working on their own ice museum. And this is the result. Here we go! We saw this place and their story, emailed them, challenged them, booked the hotel, drove three hours, and the next morning we arrived in a still closed down museum, 4,500 kilometers away from the North Pole, completely to ourselves. What temperature is it here? It's minus 10 now. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, look at these yeah. pieces of art. We had the ice here and nothing to do with the ice, so we turned it into a, a museum. We're used to the cold, but it's quite cold here. It's quite cold, yeah. <laughs> it's quite cold here. The explanation boards are made out of ice completely. We wanted to make a museum, so we had to have stories about ice. How much is under the water of the ice were. Oh! What is your favorite piece? I think the ice slide with the snake <laughs> oh there is an ice slide there's an ice slide and we're gonna we're gonna use the ice slide <laughs> this is slide one there are two slides right yeah the amount of work that goes into this insane let's go <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, this is super cool. An eagle. Actually, Can we go in? Yeah, sure. Let's go in. Whoa. <laughs> it's even colder in here. Just warm our hands with the with the ice light. It's gonna be a cold gym, but we're gonna be making a gym today. We've built a gym out of trash before for Team C's. This time we're making a gym out of ice. And the goal is to get our gym design actually functioning into their museum and it actually staying there. What can we make out of ice? Can we make everything we want? Will the gym look realistic? Will it take an hour, a day, weeks? Will it melt? Will it actually work? Is everything made out of ice? So many questions, so much to find out. Let's get into the cold world of ice carving. So we're gonna be making ice now. Yeah, we need some uh, ice blocks for the gym. So you have these empty buckets, you fill them with layers of water consistently. This is the last layer of water we're applying right now. Yeah. Now with the last layer of water on them, they will go back into the freezer. And when we come back to them, we're gonna turn them into our gym. How does someone start with ice car? A little more than 20 years ago. Whoa. I always was looking for a creative job and this was a coincidence. <laughs> you had no experience with ice carving or? No. No experience at all. No. And you are now the national champion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's another slide. <laughs> that was the first guy that tried it. <laughs> Whoa, this is fast though! <laughs> <laughs> Arnie! Arnie! He's been here for years. <laughs> Smash <Smashly>, guys. <laughs> I'm sitting on the ice right now. <laughs> it looks very, very strong. How strong will our gym be? Can we actually use the gym? Yeah, we are, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to make it a usable gym. Yeah, that's epic. How are we gonna pull this off? We wanna build an actual functioning gym that is so good that we can put it in a museum and it actually stays there. Let's start with the the pictures you sent. So as I mentioned in the beginning, we challenged them. Obviously the challenge is creating a gym out of ice. In Sanders' 20 years of ice carving, he had never made anything workout related and they accepted the challenge. So I sent them these pictures of equipment and asked if it would even be possible to make a gym with equipment like this. And there are some things I think we cannot make out of ice. But there's also good news. We can make all of this out of ice. Even the weights. The dumbbells. Ooh, could probably be made uh, completely out of ice. And could we actually use this dumbbell? Yeah, we're gonna try it. So now the only question remains, where are we gonna build the ice gym? I think the only room left is next to the, the last ice slide. So we're gonna have an ice slide next to our gym. During your rest, you can just go off the slide, go back to your workout, go back to the slide. 
<laughs> we still had a lot to learn, so before getting our hands dirty, we got shown the interesting and dangerous tools that he uses. But you said that, that the material was very easy to work with, but I can imagine it melts and you need to, have, to keep it cold. And why is it so easy to work with? It's pretty soft if you have sharp tools. You will see chainsaws today. <laughs> so I see big chainsaws over there. I see about 10 chainsaws here. <laughs> you can never have too many chainsaws. <laughs> so how does that process work? You start with the big tools. Then we start with smaller ones and eventually... A mini chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> you can almost draw with the, the bigger chisels. But these points, they, they cut away a lot of ice. You wouldn't really think about this being the a part of equipment when it comes to ice but it is, to make it look very smooth. Yeah. And now it's time to try this out for the first time in our lives. So we got a masterclass ice carving from the ice carving master himself. All right, so uh, let's uh, put the gloves on. If you want to make a gym, you need to know a little bit about uh, carving ice. And the gloves are not because the ice is so cold. Well, the tools are so sharp. Ah. You can draw anything on it. So what are you making right now? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Take it away in layers. That's when the real carving begins. It looks like just whatever you want, you can do it. I have a challenge for you. Whoever can make the best like button in 10 minutes. Time starts now, let's go. <laughs> um, example, yeah. <laughs> So we're three minutes in, making it look like something, like a like button. I am not seeing it yet, but we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, it's starting to look like something. I mean, we got a few minutes left, but I'm actually, I mean, uh, is it good? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Tools down, tools down. Let's see you one. Okay, the result. I mean, for a first time, right? According to you, you can be as judgmental as you want, who is the win? I think the right one. The right because, one. Because of Let's the go. thumb. <laughs> Let us know down below. And uh, also don't forget to uh, smash the So we need ice for the gym, a lot of it. But these blocks are way too small. So how do you make these insanely big blocks? <laughs> All right. So this big thing is where the ice blocks are made in, right? Yeah, normally this is set up in the freezer. This takes about two weeks. Two weeks in minus 20 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Turn it upside down and then you can pull it off and then... Uh, ah. Also, we have uh, North Pole, 4,348 kilometers from here and uh, Antarctica, 14,853 kilometers from here. That way, but we're gonna go that way. There's two different types of ice. You got white ice and the fancy looking see-through ice. And we'll be using both of these in our gym, but... What is the purpose? Literally just the, the, the way it looks? Yeah. Okay, no, that's good yeah. to know, that's good to know. You can also color it, but you can only color the, the white ice. Now it's time to start building the gym. First, we need the ice we created. Finished white ice. There Ooh. you go, you have just a big block of ice. These blocks are heavy, by the way. The start of the ice gym. So you still believe that we can make this a functional gym? Now the ice needs to be cut into the right shapes. These blocks are not completely straight, so we cannot actually build with them nicely. So I have to cut them straight. This is part of the puller bar. Yep. That's... The way he moves his hands around the blade. This is where we're gonna build the gym, right next to the slide. Laying my first ice block. Yeah. And this is a special glue you talked about. Yeah. Just for the record, that is just water. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> With a hole in there. This is for the dip bar, and we also got one here, obviously for the fuller bar, and these were pre-drilled in there. Um, we came prepared, or actually, he came prepared. <laughs> All these blocks obviously took weeks to create and it's looking pretty epic. I'm so interested if this is actually gonna be functional. I have no clue. So now we have a puller bar and a dip bar built from the ice blocks that we made today. Now we're going to some of the harder equipment. This is where it gets even crazier. All right, so 
The next piece of equipment, we got an entire bench. So we started working on it right away. I'm a bit worried that this bench will look nothing like a real bench and it will just look like a pile of ice. But it was actually starting to look like something, something really good. And then Sander came walking in with this. Look at this. This is where the barbell will be on. It looks fancy. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That, that looks insane. Look at how clean this looks. It feels like it should not be used. That's how fancy this looks. Let's see if it fits. Yes. Yeah. We also need weights for the bench. I thought we would grab one of the blocks we created and put it on the barbell. So we have just big piece of ice on there. Yeah. Some, okay, yeah. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, what the? Are you? Check this out. So, but it, 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 this is 17 and a half kilograms. That's what it said. That's very specific, but that's the actual weight. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's super sick. How long did this take to create? Yes, almost an hour, I think. Per plate. Yeah. Let's put it on, let's put it on. This looks insane, but this is also where the problem started. It wouldn't fit around the bar, so we had to make the hole bigger, but now the plate was stuck and we really didn't want to drop the weight that took so much time to make. We finally got it loose. We walked out of the freezer and Sander tried to adjust the hole. We came back and gave it another try, and this time it fits. Now we still had to get it on the bench. Be careful not hit anything. No way! <laughs> and we also have safety clips, but now the safety clips wouldn't fit and we tried to get it off. But then it broke. Luckily, Pim created an extra one and this one fits perfectly. This is looking phenomenal. This is a proper bench and with actually a decent amount of weight. Yes. I'm speechless. We asked, like, can we create a bench? And oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you come up with this art piece. This looks like it literally came out of. Ice Age. Yes. <laughs> we thought this looks amazing. The gym is finished, but it gets even crazier. We are actually the insane artist. Sander built an insane. So maybe we can put a small one. Yeah. <laughs> it's becoming a proper gym. Because we said we would try to make them completely out of ice, this is possible. I am afraid to hold this. How does it feel? This you looks insane. Ones? These have got to be one of the most beautiful dumbbells you've ever seen in your life. I think we should call this video most beautiful dumbbells you've ever seen in your life. How hard was this and, and are you happy with the results? I'm happy with the results here. Yeah. Did you like the project? Yeah. Yeah? It was like a challenge uh, to do something different I've never done before. Feels like this is worth millions. Uh, this is crazy. Oh! What? <laughs> There's even more! There's even oh, more! Oh, look at that! <laughs> Our handbag, made of ice. Oh, look Whoa. at that! Ooh, that's heavy, actually. Damn! Is this glued together or is this one piece? No, this is one piece. One that's... piece! So, damn! Yeah! Damn! <laughs> they had clearly accepted the challenge from the email and went for it 110%. Creating the bench, the dumbbells, the plates, the bars, that's not done in a few minutes. They had put in days of work before our arrival and this is the ice gym. Okay, so the ice gym is finished. Our finished ice gym. I really don't want to break stuff. Is this gym actually usable? Let's first start with the dumbbells. Let's start small, but actually one of my favorites, the dumbbells, they are completely see-through. When you're holding them and moving them, I'm just completely like scared. These are amazing. No. <laughs> right next to that, we have a kettlebell or just an insanely big bag. So like these are five kilograms each, I think. I think these are around five kilograms each. This is easy 15 to 20 kilograms. All right, now. We got the bench and I think I need some help from some of you guys. Are we gonna try this? No. <laughs> Let's go. Let's give it a try. A real rep. We're just gonna spot you from the beginning. Let's go. Yes. Let's go to the front. Yes. Um, yes, I think I am. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> we did that! Oh, nice! Okay, our bench 
is usable. It's a success. Now, the moment of truth, the pull-up bar and the dip bar. You want to try the pull-up bar? Yes. I, 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 I mean... You're just going to save that one? Yeah, I I'm going to... This one is pretty steady. That one is pretty steady. Okay, guys, this is one of the scariest pull-ups I'm going to be ever doing. <laughs> oh, he's doing it! Look at look at his feet. The cameraman just was shocked. That's it. That's it. We, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Oh! It was <laughs> okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh! I mean, it's usable. Let's try out the dead part. That's not the dead part. Yes. This is actually steady. This is steady. This, this, this feels this feels good. This feels this was nice. Oh! I'm so impressed with this gym. It's a usable gym and we put it in a museum. Yes. Well the real question is, will it stay in a museum? I'd say why not? I think it's an addition to the museum. Hope you like the creating the gym. Yeah, always always something new. And if you guys want to check out this ice gym, you actually can. Links in the description and you can actually well. Check out the gym <laughs> and the museum, of course, because a and lot of fun stuff museum. there. Yeah, make sure to uh, subscribe, hit that bell, and don't forget to uh, smash link. Oh, yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>